Hello and welcome to my eye painting tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be painting a realistic eye, I'm going to be painting a more of a stylized eye. So I'm going to use this uh, kind of girly, what I would call like pastel goth aesthetic to the colour palette I'm going to use and I'm going to try and use as little black as possible. That's just the way I like to paint really. These are the paint brushes I'm going to use, nothing special, they're all a bit old and I'm going to use this Posca pen I just showed. So the way I begin is just to sketch out vaguely where I want the eye and the eyebrow to be on the canvas and then I'm going to add a bit of Posca outline just so the paint doesn't cover that so well as it does the pencil. So I'm mixing like a peachy colour and I'm using fluorescent pink mixed with a bit of magenta. At the moment I'm just going to work on uh, laying down all of the mid-tones and then add this purple for the shadowing as I want to try and avoid using black too much as it will overtake the rest of the piece. So I'm trying to get this done quite quickly because um, I don't want the paint to dry out before I've blended it all as acrylics do dry quite quick. I think overall this painting took me about an hour and a half. So now I'm going to start mixing in vaguely where I want some highlights and some shadows. I made a brownish colour from purple because I want this to be kind of surreal and I want to use this colour palette. I don't want to use an actual brown. Now I'm adding some yellow for contrast. Try not to go too dark or too light. I think that's best when you first begin a painting. You can add darker and lighter areas later. At the moment I'm just trying to cover the whole of the canvas in the background. I think it's good to start with the background and work to the foreground of the painting. At this point I think it's good to um, add some definition to the areas which you want to make stand out the most. So I always go back and work on different areas of a painting and work back into another area whilst that area kind of dries. Sometimes you need the paint to be somewhat dry before you start adding another colour as it just becomes a painty mess. So now I'm just laying down the mid-tones of the pupil. No, not the pupil, the iris of the eye. Yeah, and now I'm trying to um, work into the areas that I want to be darker in the piece. So I will use a little bit of black, but I'm trying to be quite careful and only use a small amount and then where possible use purple. So when I'm painting the eyelashes, which I've already done a little bit of, I'm watering down the purple so that it only looks quite delicate to begin with. Yeah, here I'm trying to add some details to the eye and I have gone in with the black for the pupils. I know I want that area to stand out the most in the painting, so that needs to be the darkest. When you're painting, you can either decide that the area that you want to stand out the most is either going to be the lightest part of the painting or the darkest part of the painting. Okay, so I changed the camera angle because I thought you'd be able to see my paintbrush a bit better but actually my head's got in the way so I apologise for that. I'm using kind of like the flat paintbrushes to paint the background and then this tiny little paintbrush to paint, uh, paint the finer details of the eyebrow and the eye. I'm trying to create an effect on the pupil where um, 
the light reflects. And I'm going back into the eyelashes, adding a bit more black. I always add the black last in those areas. Because it's too tempting to just make everything very dark. Adding a couple of highlights. Yeah, so once I've pretty much completed a piece, that's when I'll go in and add the like final details. So yeah. That's the painting tutorial over and done, very brief. If you have any questions, just ask. Thank you for watching.